About 200 members of Congress, including Michigan reps Alyssa Slotkin and Tim Wahlberg, sound, signed a bipartisan letter. And that letter says that certain agencies, and they didn't name names, are taking advantage of overwhelmed hospital systems during the pandemic. Now, the agencies I talked to say those price hikes are because they value their nurses, not because they're trying to increase profits. I don't feel that someone who has never actually walked a mile in a nurse's shoes, that they should be making the, you know, the decisions as to what nurses should actually make. Tara Miller has been walking in those shoes for 22 years. The last eight have been as a travel nurse, which means she's employed by a staffing agency and is positioned at one hospital until she's needed elsewhere. You can set your schedule more often than not um, in shoes normally, not all the time, but sometimes if you want to work weekends, holidays, um, be more flexible with family. Not to mention they can make a lot more money. According to ZipRecruiter, a travel nurse's pay rate can be as high as $200 an hour, while the average hospital staff nurse tends to make between $27 and $40 an hour. Nurses, of course, said if I'm going to do this job and I'm going to do the job of three, I want to get paid properly. I don't begrudge them that. I want to put on the record that there hasn't been a significant increase in the salaries of nurses in decades. Rosemary Torrento is right. She's the CEO of Health Providers Choice, a mid-market staffing agency based out of Rochester Hills. Here's a graph from the Bureau of Labor Statistics that shows salary trends over the past decade. We want to see that the market conduct of these or um, companies is appropriate. And if it's not, that should be curtailed. We're, we're really not arguing about the wages per se. We're, at, we're arguing about um, perhaps 40 percent markup. Laura Oppel says the Michigan Health and Hospital Association is part of a nationwide effort asking the White House COVID response team to look into the profiteering of some staffing agencies. Torrento says it's not price gouging, it's supply and demand. She says agencies have to subsidize travel expenses, acquire credentialing for their nurses, and often these nurses are going into understaffed COVID-19 war zones. We paid nurses to go to work for our clients. We literally paid for them to go. So that meant we were in a negative profit margin because there is a commitment. A commitment to good care and with fewer qualified nurses that requires agencies and hospitals to pay up. Well, Torrento says in general, staffing agencies take about 20 percent of what hospitals pay them as profits. But the letter from Congress says that some agencies are taking as much as 40. And in Massachusetts, legislators are actually trying to cap the salaries of uh, travel nurses. And the Michigan Nurses Association says that's misguided and unfair. Live in Royal Oak, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News. It is a complicated issue regarding our frontline workers. Thank you, Alex, for that live update.